What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create a donations page on our WordPress website for free, ok? So this video is part of this amazing tutorial present on visualmodel.com blog website, ok? That you can review the point by point written on this, I'm gonna leave a link into the description below, but let's get it started. But before anything, please, hit the subscribe button like this video and share this content with a friend of yours because we're gonna learn how to create a page, a functional page like this one that can enable your site to receive donations for your non-profit organization, for your project, your proposals, okay? So let's get it started. First of all, go to our WordPress dashboard, okay? Once on dashboard, review the left side of menus and on it, select plugins, add new. We're gonna be using a free WordPress plugin for this tutorial. That is called Give. This is the most famous donation plugin and fundraising platform for WordPress. So just type Give, okay? Click on install, the plugin is installed, click on activate. As soon as you click on activate, the plugin is gonna redirect you. To the welcome page, okay, so welcome to give. We are you are only minutes away from accepting donations on your website. Use this onboarding wizard if this is your first time using GiveWP. So, start it up. Hi there, tell us a little about your organization. So, I'm fundraising within an organization. My fundraising is other or individual. This is, depend this is depending on your case, okay? But, I'm gonna choose individual. Advocacy, education, environmental, healthy, political, religious. Let's try education, for example. Accept and continue. Country, state privacy and currency, okay? So, select your country, your state and the currency, okay? What do you need in your first donation form? Maybe a donation goal, company donations, terms and conditions. I would like to have a donation goal. And something like, for example, offline donations, okay? Continue. Check out your first donation form. After setup, you can customize the text, color and image, modify donation, add remove payments, extend with add-ons and more. So, click on continue. What else do you need support your cause? To support your cause. Maybe recurring donations, donations cover fees, multiple occurrences, custom form fields, Dedicate donations, PDF receipts, this is important, right? But this is about add-ons, so this is gonna try to sell you some add-ons, but let's try, continue. So the first time configuration is already up. Now we can connect to PayPal, in the case that you want to receive donations from PayPal account, or connect to Stripe. The PayPal is the simpler way to connection, okay? You just need to have the currency type. Click on connect to PayPal button. It will take a moment to 
try to load PayPal account, okay? If you already have logged in on PayPal, this is gonna be faster. So, as soon as you click on connect to PayPal, if you are logged in on your PayPal account, it's gonna ask you to connect this account. I will not do this. into this video, but I recommend that you do this in the case that you want to accept donations using PayPal account, okay? So, let's jump this part by now, but... You can accept donation using their new PayPal company. Save chains. We have other gateways, in the case that you want to click into this tab. As you can review, you can select others, for example, Stripe, PayPal Standard, PayPal Donations. Remember, if you, if you select some option into the Enable, you need to make sure that you connect your WordPress to the account right here, okay? Just like I did on PayPal. Now, the default options. Name title prefix, company field, last name, Anonymous donation, donor comments. Most of the options right here came with a very nice template by the full. Once we are just getting started with the Give Donations plugin, we're gonna explore this later, okay? We have license in the case that you go to the add ons or to some options. We have advanced. I do not recommend that you try to change anything on the advanced now, we're gonna explore this later, okay? And we have the recurring donations. That to use, we're gonna be need to install installing some add-on, okay? We just will not do this by moment. Now, as you can review, into the left side of our WordPress, we have a button called donations. Click on all forms. As you can check, you, we, we already have a form that the plugin gives to us. I'm gonna apply this form into some page, okay? You can post this short code into any part of your site in the case that you want, but I'm gonna apply into some page. So, into the short code, I'm gonna copy this code right here and apply into some page. I'm gonna create a new page using the native WordPress block editor but you can do the same using Elementor, applying on widgets, into your footer, sidebar. I'm gonna explore this later, maybe in another video, but let's have you. Donation page. I would like to add a short code. And here is my code. Let me publish the page. Let's review the page. And here is my page. Seems like the read more button is still not working. We have the option to donate, okay? You can choose the amount or select a custom amount to type. So, if you like the cause, click on donate now, choose the amount, fulfill your full name, last name, email. Now you can select how you will do your donation, okay?
Donate now. A great big thank you. You can share your donation. You can review the details. But now let's explore something special, okay? So, as you can check, we already have raised this amount. We have one donation and the goal it's 10,000, okay? So the graphic and the progress line did update it a bit. But we would like to customize this page, okay? We would like to change some parts of it. So let's go to the donation form. We can customize the primary color. We can use the Montserrat Google font or use the system font. We can apply the decimal amounts, the description, the headline, the image, the button, the choose amount, the content, the other button, the step four, that is the payment, and the thank you. We can apply an image on the thank you. We can change the text, the title, we can enable or disable the social sharing and choose the message that are gonna appear in social media when someone shares, okay? So, as you can see, it's a very complete solution for your donation. So, the donation options, okay? Multi level donation or set donation, okay? Choose amount, donation limit, custom amount, text, donation level, text. The form fields, okay? So we have global default. The donation goal. This part I would like to change a bit. I think this amount is too much. We can set the form to close in the case that we want. As you can see, I did change the amount. Let's review how page are going. The form grid, okay, the default option or customize, in the case that you want to customize the grid, okay, we have a redirect option, the terms and conditions, global option, customize, and disable, the offline donations, the Stripe account, okay? And the email notifications, okay? We can customize the email, for example, for a new donation. A donation receipt. Let me update the post. Let me close the Yoast SEO tab. We can apply some sets in the case that we want. Now that we are up, let's try to customize the form template. As you can see, we are using the most step form. Okay, I'm gonna click on deactivate so we can choose other forms. For example, this one that is the classic form. Let me update the page and have Moreover, in the case that you want to learn more about WordPress, SEO, plugins, templates, 
and many more topics, go to visualmoto.com and review our blog because we bring daily tutorials about everything, okay? So, in addition, if you are in need of a free WordPress team to create your donation website or non-profit website and an amazing free WordPress plugin in order to make it look fancy, go to visualmoto.com or go to wordpress.org and download our Enzo WordPress team that is free and our borderless WordPress plugin that is free as well. And using those two options, you're gonna be able to create an amazing website for every niche. In the case that you want to start with a ready website that you just need to change the texts and some images and you are good to go, go to Visual Moto and review the pro version of our Enzo WordPress team or the Visual Moto Pass. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!